Hey there friends, Martin from Matthew's Studio, coming to you once again from my backyard, Matthew's University, here to talk about the gear. While we're talking about the gear, I got a 40 by 40 silk in between the sun and myself. That's why it looks so pretty right here. And I got a nice little return, a little bounce card down here. There you can see it's being held by a quacker clamp. There you have it, very simple lighting. Once I step out of it, ooh, a little bit harsh. Want to back in it? Oh, so silky smooth. But just want to let you know what I got going on here. But what I'm here really to talk about is a really awesome piece of gear that's been in the Matthews catalog for a really long time. A lot of people know about it, but I think the newer generations of filmmakers and content creators and people that are putting out awesome, awesome material and awesome content, they don't know about all these tools. So it's really important that we bring it up and say, hey guys, look, this exists and it's there for you to use and to appreciate. Very versatile stand here. That's why we're in vertical mode. We're showing a stand, so I want you to be able to see all the way down and all the way up. So there goes my excuse for not being in landscape. But here we go. It's awesome. It's wonderful. Might I say it's magic? Ta-da, the magic stand. It's a beautiful stand, extremely versatile. We're gonna go through all the different functions and the features, starting with the runway base. This base is an industry standard. It's amazing, it's super beefy. Uh, it, it folds up to make it pretty portable and it has a 250 pound capacity. That's awesome. You can put all your, your 18Ks on it, all different types of big lamps and big, big pieces of gear. They'll fit right in there. So let's take it apart and talk about all the thingies that are involved here. Here we go. Gonna loosen that guy up. Let's take the magic riser, put it aside for a second, and then we'll grab this runway base. Really awesome. We got a junior receiver with a positive V lock. That means when the junior pin goes in there, the pin makes contact with this wall this wall and then that t-handle is going to bite into that pin and you're gonna have three points of contact that way things don't wiggle loose really smart really simple matthews it's innovation there we go so check it out we got this 32 inch base with the tente swivel dual locking non-marking casters really awesome pardon me and once you pop this up and this up you can flip it around Come on, wiggle down, wiggle down. And it packs up really small. It'll fit in the jockey box of a truck, in your gear closet, whatever you, wherever you keep your stuff, it folds up really small for a stand that's gonna be able to roll around and hold your biggest units six inches off the ground. Guys, that's pretty impressive. I think so. But uh, here we go. So now that we got this guy locked back out. I'll show you about these dual locking casters. Non-marking, dual locking, Tente, best of the best, Matthews, best of the best. So hey, it's a match made in heaven. As soon as you get to where you want, when it's rolling around on the ground, you lock it off. It no longer swivels and it no longer rotates. That's why it's dual locking. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. Keep your gear where you put it. Very important. You unlock it and you're loosey-goosey. So there you go. I'm gonna put this back down on the ground uh, so that we can mount the magic riser and talk about that. All right, guys, I'm back. I'll be honest, I had to do a little edit there because uh, I'm sweating profusely and my hair product that's really not doing its job too well right now uh, started leaking into my eyes and, and it hurt really bad. So did a little edit, but I'm back to talk about this magic, magic riser starting with the magic finger. Here it is, it's a magic finger. We have a ratcheting lever so that you can pull back and it's loose and then once you engage it, then you can crank down on it. That way if you have a bail right here, it's never gonna be in the way. You can always just get to that point and then crank down. Right now I'm gonna loosen it all the way and show you that the casting totally gets loose as well as the finger. It's a 5 8 pin with a little safety in there, the knurled, knurling on the undercut so your T-handle can really bite into it and your gear isn't gonna be sliding around on there. And then we have this cutout right here so that it can go 90 degrees. Really, really cool. Matthew's innovation, I'm gonna be honest. Every other company tries to duplicate this thing and they can't, why? Because Matthew's makes the best of everything. We invented it and we make it the best. It's a magic finger, you'll see other styles on the market, but they're never gonna be as good as this. It's really adorable. Keep trying guys. But anyhow, here we go. I'm gonna crank this down. Boom. There we have it. And then this riser goes up. This riser goes up. 
and then this riser also goes up. So I'm way up there. It's around 12 feet up there. You know, I'm gonna show you guys as far as I can wheel back. Can you see? No, it's still, still up there. Why? Because it goes 12 and a half feet and that's pretty high. So let me come on back around this close and we'll show you what we can do with this guy. I'm gonna come down here so it'll be up and down 12 and a half feet. But then I'm gonna loosen this guy, bring him down to right around here. I'm gonna show you where the magic really lies, all right? Once I loosen this riser, you can see there's a little gap, a little air gap there. Why? Because as soon as I tighten it down, I'm gonna loosen the big turn handle right there and boom, literally, boom, it turns into a boom arm. I can slide the arm back there. And now at this point, we can find a nice balancing point. This is your fulcrum right here, so you wanna be able to balance it out. What we have on the back of this arm is I'm gonna loosen this casting here, put a brake on and swing it back so that you can see this little notch. Here, let's get closer. This little notch right here is made to be able to accept the handle of a sandbag or a boa bag, which I have right here, which really bites anything you put it on. It's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, or you can put a carabiner on there or whatever you want to be able to secure something on the back of this arm so that you can balance out your load. And I'm gonna show you, let me take the brake off, wheel it way back here and show you that this thing really reaches out there. Once I'm gonna lock that down there, I'm gonna start taking this riser out all the way. Let me loosen her right here and really show you guys how much reach you really get on there. So you can swing it all the way around and there you have it. We still have some more rise down here. Make sure to always weight your base. This is just a demonstration, but always weight your base and always have your arm pointed over a leg. This casting lets you swivel all the way around, but if you have this thing fully loaded up, you might just wanna break the wheels or you know, loosen the wheels and then just spin so that you're always keeping the leg right underneath your arm, your boom arm. So it's really, really versatile, really cool. It's, uh, it's truly a magical stand. Here, I'm gonna lock it off there. And just cause it's fun, I'm gonna get my mic cable out. I've got sweat in my eyes again. But check this thing out. It's awesome. It's such a versatile stand. Many different pieces, many different functions. Uh, really awesome to have in your arsenal of equipment. I love it. People that use it love it. And I know if you get your hands on one, you'll love it too. All right, guys, Matthew Studio Equipment, the magic stand, truly magical. Take care of one another. Let's keep learning about the gear. And uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye-bye.